What's up guys, it's Greg here, and today we're gonna to talk about all the things I wish I'd known about the Divi theme before buying it way back and ultimately making a bunch of great websites that I could sell to clients and put on YouTube. To date, I've made websites for marathon events, for gyms, for investment professionals, and I plan to make a lot more, but Divi isn't for everyone. So I wanna cover things that are inside Divi, how to do the pricing of Divi so you don't pay a ton, plugins you need, and so on and so forth. So, hope you grab yourself a nice cup of coffee or tea or whatever it is you like to drink and are having a great day and are ready to learn all about Divi super quick. And of course, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're into WordPress and go ahead and dump a little coffee on that like button. No, I'm just kidding, don't do that on your computer, but go ahead and hit that for me. Okay, let's do it. Okay, awesome guys, like I said, I've used Divi for a while now. I've gone through several updates with it and I just wasn't sure at the start though if it is actually the number one WordPress theme and page builder. So, you know, that kind of a claim is a lot. Um, obviously I bought it and it ended up working for me pretty darn good. I basically the best premium theme I've ever bought. So that holds up, but there are a few confusing things at the start. So first of all, you don't get Divi when you buy it at divi.com. You go to elegantthemes.com, which is obviously the creator. And then you can look at what they have and you can click pricing in the upper right. So that brings me to my first thing you should know about Divi, which is that there are two ways to get it. The yearly access for $89 or the lifetime for $249. Now, no one wants to pay recurring fees. So if you get the yearly access, my pro tip is you don't need to keep paying for it if you don't want all of the support and things that it comes with, which can be a little bit of fluff. You might not need them. You can just buy the theme outright for $89 and then cancel it the updates and you'll just still have the theme and you can use it for all your websites so that's one way to do it for just one cost and you don't have to pay the 249 one time unless you just like spending money so other premium themes usually are like 59 on theme forest and vado um but some are like 30 some are even like 100 so i'd consider this kind of like an upper you know, middle-class theme. So what do you get when you buy this famous Divi theme? Well, you might not know, you actually get other themes too, like Extra, Bloom, and Monarch. That's pretty cool. You also get website packs. So what's that? A website pack is a template, which is good for different sorts of style of websites, like, you know, fashion, fitness, yoga. They have templates for agencies and coaches and just really amazing layouts that they've already built for you using their Divi developers. And you just basically click import and poof, you have a website and you can just edit it on the front end with normal techniques like click and point and drag and drop. So that part's really cool. Um, it will make you a little lazy if you use the website packs and you won't totally learn how to like build using the Divi builder and develop but it's a really quick solution if you have to get a website up. And like I said, they pretty much have a website pack for everything. And I'll leave you a link in the description where you can browse those website packs, which are also called layouts. Okay, so that's what you get. Of course, you also get a money back guarantee, so there's no risk um, if budget's tight, which it is for a lot of us nowadays. So now we covered price and what you get. Um, most importantly, those starter website pack layouts. And the next thing I wanna talk about is the builder. So. With WordPress, obviously you're used to using the page and post layout, or maybe you've started using the new block editor. Well, with Divi, everything changes because you get the Divi Builder. This is its own proprietary, customized, super cool drag and drop builder, sort of like Site Origins, but way more features. You will get used to it um, if you're someone who's like older in the game, um, you know, if you just use code in the past, you might find it like too much because um, it's a lot of different like little sections and boxes and widgets. But um, if you're someone who's used to getting like a new phone and likes figuring it out or uh, likes opening up your new computer and installing apps, you'll be just fine. It's really fun. And inside the Divi Builder is like really where the magic happens. So cool, now that we've covered that, that it uses the Divi Builder and that you will need to become friends with it. And I think you will because I like use it like a wizard now or not a wizard, like a beginner wizard. The next thing I wanna talk about is the plugins that you can get with Divi. 
So one of the coolest plugins you can get is useful for compliance, and that's um, disability compliance. So ADA, WCAIG compliance, really important nowadays. So that's one of the plugins. I'm not gonna cover all the plugins, because if you've Googled like Divi, you'll know that there are like millions of people that have like their own plugin or their own best way of doing it. And there's like Divi blank, every kind of website, like Divi helper, Divi guide, Divi like, you know, you just want like the best plugins and I'll give you links to those in the description, but just know that there's a lot of good plugins made for Divi and you don't have to pay for them because the best ones are mostly free. Okay, so now that we've covered the plugins, the next thing I wanna tell you is actually a con and that's that Divi can be a little bit heavy. Um, it comes with a lot of files. So if you migrate a website um, somewhere and you bring in your old content and you try to like put Divi on top of that, the site's gonna run slow. Um, I've been there, it's not good because even if you make a beautiful website and it's slow, your client will ultimately not be happy and make you do more work. So start fresh, um, be mindful of the layouts you put in there or all the images and don't be afraid to just delete stuff you're not using because it'll help your site run so much better. It's a very heavy um, theme in general, so you do need to have a little bit of caution and maybe set up a CDN so that you can, um, you know, kind of push your content elsewhere so it loads faster. So that's pretty cool. I think you'll do great with that, just a heads up. All right, so the next thing I wanna talk about with Divi is the slider. It has a great slider. It's a lot of my older clients in their 50s, 60s, 70s want that slider. Not everyone wants it. If you just, some people just want a simple, like one page website. If, you know, I, I find a lot of 20 year olds like that, but it has a really good slider. You can make it look like the Apple website or the Uber website. You can do overlays. You can literally make the coolest text and obviously amazing fonts with it. So knock yourself out. You're not gonna be short on a slider and you won't need to pay for one like Slider Re Revolution or one of those other ones which from time to time can get hacked and ruin your life for a week. So, <laughs> got the slider covered. It's in the builder. It's one of the free widgets that comes in there. You're gonna love it. Okay, so the last feature I'm gonna cover here because I don't wanna totally chew your ear off is that you can pretty much build any website with Divi. That's what I learned after becoming like a little bit better at it over the course of a few weeks. You can look at a website and be like, I want those little circle icon boxes or that moving part, or I want my menu to look exactly like that. Divi lets you do all of it. And that's why I kind of lean towards just starting and building something cool like you would with like Legos instead of using one of the website packs and then like you just won't end up figuring out the little intricacies and you won't be as much of a developer. You'd be like a designer. You can literally build anything. It's so fantastic. I'm like blown away that they just give us that for the price because you, you know, you can make like $2,000 websites like overnight if you're, if you get better and if you're good at it and if you just put your mind to it. Um, it's not easy, but it can be done and like it'll blow your mind once you learn how to create things that you see on like the Airbnb website that you thought were so advanced, but really they're at your fingertips. So that's all I'll say guys. Um, I will leave you, oh, one more thing. Divi also has a cool affiliate program. Don't want to forget that. Um, it's not really a part of the video. Um, in terms of a feature because I'm not telling you to go be like an affiliate, um, but uh, it's really pretty good. I mean, they pay out great for, you know, referring your friends to Divi. You can just put a link in the footer. This is the theme I'm using, people will click it. Um, and yeah, that brings me to the end of the video where I'll tell you we do have a link in the description to Divi so you can check it out. Um, if you wanna buy Divi, it'd mean a lot to me if you can use that link, because that's obviously how I pay for, you know, these videos and the time and all the lights and stupid fireplace bill and all that's been running for like pretty much 24 hours. So that's gonna be a bill. But yeah, go ahead and um, check the description and um, click around down there. And I hope you enjoyed it. It was an honor to talk to you about Divi. Uh, I haven't really broken into Divi other than just been using it to make all these websites for clients. So I'm excited to, to start on this path with you guys. All right. Can't wait to be your Divi instructor. Um, hope you enjoyed this Divi WordPress tutorial. I will talk to you guys soon and cheers. Enjoy that cup of coffee. All right, bye guys.